Markets, Hussein Syed's Chief Market Strategist for the Gulf and the Middle East region at FXTM joins us on the line for the first time. Hussein, good to have you on. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. So look, bring us up to speed. What are you looking at today? So in fact, you know, I, w- I was still looking at liquidity because it has been very dry for the month of August. I know it's uh, vacation, but it, is, it was lowest in almost like uh, uh, almost a decade. However, today we saw the index in Dubai falling below 3,500 benchmark for the first time in almost three weeks uh, with the, with the uh, financial, industrial, and consumer cyclical sectors being weighing on this sector. However, it was interesting just to analyze the correlation which was happening in oil. Uh, for example, in July, stocks correlation with oil was almost negative, but we saw this picking up in, in, uh, in August. Uh, but however, markets, you know, are still looking outside what's happening on the international uh, uh, markets. And I think, you know, traders and investors will still uh, uh, look what's happening in the U.S. indices, European indices. And this is where taking their cues from. Uh, when we look at the international markets, I think oil has been making headlines for the past couple of days. Uh, uh, markets overall are lacking direction during this choppy trading week as investors are just awaiting for cues from Janet Yellen, who is set to deliver a speech at the annual gathering of uh, central bankers at Jackson Hole. Uh, everybody's look, trying to find hints on the timing of the next U.S. interest rates rise. However, I'm afraid that they wouldn't get much and she wouldn't be as hawkish as her colleagues uh, on, on the timing of the interest rates. And the currency news, uh, we saw some kind of dollar strength. It was slight uh, on Wednesday after falling yesterday, but was unable to break out uh, of its recent trading ranges uh, as investors continue to focus on what Janet Yellen has to say. Uh, to be honest, it was a kind of boring week for currency traders uh, where they couldn't find any direction for uh, trades. However, on the economic uh, side, the data on Tuesday showed that the U.S. home sales unexpectedly rose incredibly in July, reaching their highest level in almost nine years. This had, uh, has helped uh, the, the dollar marginally uh, go higher. Hussain Syed, Chief Market Strategist for the Gulf and the Middle East region at FXTM. Hussain, appreciate your thoughts. Thank you.